Okay, I've got us lined up for a couple of questions here. Hope I get left enough room on the page. Let's see what happens. Life health survey, mean of 120, standard deviation of 10. What proportion of scores falls between the scores of 100 and 110? Okay. Same as always, draw our distribution. We know that that center point is 120 or 0. What scores fall between, what proportion of scores fall between the scores of 100 and 110? Well, this is 120. 100 is going to be down here somewhere. Again, it doesn't really matter where you put it. Just put it there. We know it's below the mean. 110 is also below the mean. Hmm. So it's going to be there. What are we looking for? We are looking for that. Oh, my goodness. So we're looking for a proportion that's not even around the mean. We're going to be doing something a little bit different here. Okay. Let's do the thing we know how to do next. Let's get our z-scores for these two values. So z equals 100 minus 120 divided by 10. What do we already know? It's below the mean. It should be a negative number. Right? It should end up with negative 20 divided by 10, which equals negative 2.00. The z equals 110 minus 120 divided by 10 equals minus 10 divided by 10 equals negative 1.00. Okay. We're going to look in the z table for z scores of 1 and 2. They're going to be negative. Sorry about that. They're going to be negative numbers, but our z-score table does not worry about negative numbers. Okay, so let's look here. You've got a z-score of 1. And look at what we're looking for. Hmm, we're outside of the mean. But we have some things in this z-table that we can use. For example, we can find the proportion from mean to z for each of these values. Right? So let's start with the value of 110, mean to z. So we look under the mean to z column for the z-score of 1.00. 1.00, mean to z column is 0.3413. Okay, so we've got something there we can have. This is 0.3413. Now, we don't want that proportion, but we need that number to get where we want to be. We can also look for the mean to z proportion for that score of 100. So we're going to look in the mean to z column for the z-score of 2. I gotta find my other page here. Z score of 2.0, mean to Z, 0 0.4772. Again, if you can't quite see this on the video, open up your Z table and see what you get. So, the proportion from here to here is. 0.4772. Okay. So we have this. We have this. We can't add them together. That wouldn't make any sense. I mean, that just gives you something crazy. We can't just use this because we're double counting that area. So when you need something that's outside of the mean, you're probably going to have to do something like subtracting. So if we only want this, and we have this, and we have this, we're going to subtract. We take that 0.4772, which is this big area, and we subtract out the 0.3413. Subtract out that little area. What are we left with? We're left with that. Oh, I wonder if I can do this in my head, because I didn't do this earlier. 
That's going to be an 8. 5. 3. 1. Point one three five eight is the proportion that falls there. The question is asking about it in proportion, not in percentage. So we can say that the proportion that falls between the score of 100 and 110 is 0 0.1358. Okay? Let's try this problem down here. What proportion of scores falls between the score of 125 and 135? Okay, again, what are we going to do? We're draw out that distribution. We know that this is 120. We want 125, which is above it, and we want 135, which is above it. We're only looking for this proportion. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing. We're just above the mean. We know we're going to be dealing in positive numbers here, right? Again, do your z-scores. 125 minus 120 divided by 10. That should be 0 0.50. 135 minus 120 divided by 10. And we actually did that one a little bit earlier, and that should be 1.50. They are positive numbers. That's what we expect. Okay. Again, we can find the proportion from the mean to z for both of these. So we want to look in that column of the z table. So I'm going to start with 1.50. Oh, look, we've been here before. Mean to z, 0.4332. So for the 135, point, what was that? Sorry, 4332. Three, okay, we don't want that whole proportion. We're going to have to subtract out this little bit here. So find my Z table that has the point 0.5 in it. Point five zero mean to z, point one nine one five. That's the proportion from the mean to z. So that is this area. Point one nine one five. Okay, we have all of this. We don't want all of it. We need to subtract that out. Point four three three two minus point one nine one five. And I think somewhere along the line, I worked that out already, and it's 0.2417. If the problem's asking for proportion, you enter that, 0.2417. If it's asking you for percentage, simple enough, you would change it to 24.17 percent of the population fall between a score of 125 and 135. Okay? Those are tough ones. Think about it a little bit, ask us some questions.